Hello students, welcome to one more session from Infinity Learn. Today we are going to discuss about VSEPR theory, valential electron pair repulsion theory and it's all about shapes of molecules. Before going for the session, I just want to tell you what this is a score examination. This score examination is India's largest scholarship test examination and this examination <coughs> can provide you grade 12 and grade 11, 10, all the students from grade 3 to grade 12. And this test is for every student. If you are connected to Infinity Learn or not, it doesn't matter. And everybody can write and can grab up to the scholarship worth about 1 crore rupees. That's why I said it is India's largest scholarship examination. And you can say, depending upon your performance, your benchmark, study setup and also laptop will be given to you as a gift and also educational allowances and up to 100% scholarship you are going to get. And not only this, you can get many more out of this. So in the description box, it is available. The link you click it and enroll this core examination. And also I just to come up with uh, one more surprise for you. It's a Diwali gift for you. NEET 2025 All India Test Series Pack. The cost is around 5,999 rupees, but after special discount Diwali gift, it is getting 2,999. That is possible only YouTube 550 off. So that is a coupon code you can enter and you can enroll now. So these are the special features that you are going to see. 27 AITS examination and 20 full syllabus mock test and 25 topic wise previous year questions and uh, three physics chemistry biology books are available with along with video solutions in the infinity learn meta app and also performance reports and analysis and your performance is going to be given on the benchmark with sri chaitanya students so while yet you just enter youtube 50 of that coupon code is available and limited time offer diwali gift ke and without any delay, we shall join in the VSEPR theory. What is the importance of valency shell electron pair repulsion theory? This theory talks about the shapes of molecules. Based on shapes of molecules, the majority of the inorganic chemistry questions can be derived from the NEAT examination from NCRT based. And let us talk about simplified version of this VSEPR theory. And at this session, you are going to learn all the shapes of molecule. And I can assure you that you are going to do any type of question from VSEPR theory. And so this VSEPR theory is based on the shape of the molecule. So the shape of the molecule is decided by the number of water, the number of electron pairs present on the central atom of the molecule. So this central of the molecule, they has electron pairs are two types. Electrons always exist as a pairs. These pairs are two types. Lone pair of electron and a bond pair of electron. That lone pair of electron means the pair of electron which do not participate in the bond. And the bond pair of electron, the pair of electron which participated in the bond. And the central atom, these lone pair and the bond pairs are arranged in such a way that they made repulsions among them. So if you see the repulsions among them is going to be lone pair making a repulsion on lone pair is greater than. Lone pair is making a bond pair repulsion is greater than. Bond pair and bond pair repulsions. So these electron pairs around the central atom are arranged in such a way that the repulsions among them are minimum. So minimum repulsions ke wajay se ek shape nikal rahe. Based on that we can decide the shape. So we are going to decide the shape of the molecule based on a central atom and bond pairs and hybridization also. And I am going to provide you a fragment of tables so that you can understand. Type of hybridization if it is SP it is a linear hybridization. S character is 50% P character is 50%. In that if you have two bond pairs and an zero lone pairs. If a molecule has zero lone pairs, it is going to have a regular geometry. If it has the lone pair of electrons, it is going to have irregular geometry. As this do not have the lone pair of electron, it would have the linear geometry like A and B and B. It's a linear so that 180 angle is seen. The best examples are going to be carbon dioxide, beryllium chloride 
and ethylene and kind of zinc chloride, beryllium fluoride kind of things. And also you can say SP2, S character is 33.33 and P character is going to be 66.66. And if it is have three bond pairs and no lone pair, it is going to have a planar triangular shape. If it is going to have one lone pair of electron in it, it is going to have a bent shape like that you can see PBCl2, PB and it is a chlorine and it is a chlorine and there is a lone pair of electron. It is a bent shape and also you will be having sp3 with four bond pair of electron, zero lone pair of electron. It is going to have a tetrahedral and if it is three bond pairs and one lone pair, we can see they say ammonia ka very popular it is going to be nitrogen three bond pairs hydrogen and hydrogen and hydrogen lone pair of electron so it is going to be a trigonal triangular pyramidal and if it is having two bond pairs and two lone pairs of electron it is going to have a bent shape like that water molecule you are going to have two lone pairs of electron hydrogen and hydrogen two bond pairs of electron is a bent shape so you take the best technique to say the molecule is a take a simple example that we are familiar and you can correlate with the valence number of electrons in that particular group in the periodic table and also you can say sp3 dehybridization in this sp3 dehybridization five bond pairs there is no lone pair you are going to have trigonal by pyramidal PCL5 is the best example and also if you have four bond pairs and one lone pair steric number is 5 and it is going to have C saw shape what is that C saw shape you can say yes F4 is an example so yes F and F it is a C saw shape so lone pair of electrons so like that you have so many and you can have bond pairs are 3 lone pairs are 2 it is going to be T shape CLF3 chlorine fluorine and a fluorine and a fluorine it is going to have two lone pairs of electron the shape is going to be T shape and also you are going to have two bond pairs and three lone pairs it is going to be linear the best example is going to be XEF2 xenon difluoride and you are going to see three lone pairs of electron like this. So the electron geometry is trigonal by pyramidal, but the bond pairs decide the shape. The total number of electrons decides the geometry. And sp3d2, it is going to be octahedral geometry. If it is six bond pairs and one zero lone pair, it is going to be octahedral. Example is sulfur hexafluoride. And if you take five and one, five bond pairs, one lone pair, it is going to be a square pyramidal and it's a square pyramidal shows like this. That is Br, fluorine, fluorine and fluorine, fluorine. So it's a square and here it is a pyramidal and it is a lone pair of electron. Similarly, four and two, four bond pairs and two lone pairs, it is going to get square planar that is XEF4. XEF4 shape comes like this, xenon, four bonds, fluorine, fluorine, fluorine and fluorine. There is two lone pairs of electron. Like that, you just go in that sequence manner, you will understand everything. And at last, sp3d3 in that sp3d3 seven bond pairs and zero lone pairs it is going to be a pentagon on the pentagon a pyramid and niche auric pyramid here pentagonal bipyramidal apka if7 is going to be the example and six bond pairs and one lone pair this is a distorted octahedral xef6 is going to be the example so based on this simple methodology you can calculate the steric number steric number is equal to total lone pair plus bond pair and the steric number decides the geometry 
and the shape decided by only one pair of electron based on this you can do so many questions from ncrt based and neat examination so hope you enjoyed this session and uh, please like and share and subscribe to infinity learn neat channel thank you very much thank you